really nice. Uh, it's an honor to you meet you. Chinese? Yeah, it's for Chinese news. Yeah. Have you ever been to China? Uh, I went there once, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I went to Hong Kong at, uh, what was that, the uh, Hara. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I have been there too. It's been and a I, while. Yeah. It's been a while. Right? So today literally is your holiday, is um, Body Guy Day, because uh, our mayor. Tell me that. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, our mayor, Lai Fu, just literally made this day your day. So um, what type of tradition are you going to keep for today to celebrate your day? Well, first of all, I've been fighting now for about 30 years trying to get a, uh, a museum here like other big cities have, like Nashville, you know, St. Louis, and uh, 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 even in New Orleans, they got a Louis Armstrong statue sitting in the park. I don't see the great muddy waters. I don't see the great Howlin' Wolf here. And, and if you go anywhere in the world, let's say Chicago is the capital, capital of the blues, but after all, all of those guys passed away, looks, Chicago look like this, they go and forget them, you know, but as long as I'm alive, I'm not going to say that. You know, I'm hoping now that I can get some help to fight for this museum should be in Chicago. Like when I was uh, voted in the Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they came back to, the, to this city and said, they should have brought it, they should have brought it, put wheels on and brought it here. I said, no, it should have been built here. Because the blues players in Chicago, Chicago outnumbered. Uh, the other cities who got it right now because like I said, I could start naming musicians from Chicago when I run out your time this time tomorrow Because some of them didn't make big names for themselves, but they was the greatest musician I ever heard If you could go back in time to Louisiana uh, What would you advise your younger self about adventures and challenges ahead? I would tell them don't give up because if you give up on anything you never will make it there because I <laughs> I like to joke about it since I've played in the White House three or four times. I say, playing in the White House is a long time from picking cotton. And I, well, I call it guitar. You pick the guitar, you know. And I say, this is a long way from picking the cotton in the fields in Louisiana and picking the guitar in the White House. So if you give up, it's like a prize fighter, a baseball player. If you give up, give up, you can't win. But if you keep fighting, you might get luck and win. That you never heard.